Hello, I am Sydney, and this is my guest today. Thank you, live studio audience. I'll give you a round of applause. All right, welcome to the first episode of the Nitty Gritty. Wow, it's gonna be a time, I can guarantee you that. Whew, all right, so today, like I said before, our first guest is Olivia Connor. Why don't you tell us something about yourself? Hi, I'm Olivia Connor. I am, I don't know, where am I looking? Oh, right there. Um, <laughs> I am an art and biology major at Fredonia. I like to paint and draw and do digital art and stuff like that. So that's me. Nice. All right. Cool. 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 So today our craft is going to be the basics of knitting and we're going to be covering casting on the knit stitch and the purl stitch. So this is going to be quite the time. All right. So quick thing about knitting, more specifically yarn and your needles. So each yarn is a different size. Okay. We got very, very thin yarn and we got very, very bulky yarn. All the yarn has a number coordinating to what size it is. So right now we have yarn that is a size four and each yarn also has a name to it as well. I forget what this one is called, so we're going <laughs> to skip over it. So with the size of the yarn coordinates with the size of the needles. There are very small needles and there are very big needles. So Olivia has the recommended size for a size four. So let's see what size does that say that you are? This is a size US 10, so usually you can find it on the, uh, on the needle right there. Sometimes it has other stuff written on it, which is just the company, but like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Anywho, so there you go. And I have a size that's a couple size bigger. I have a US 11, which is definitely a lot bigger than a fat the needle. Yeah, it is, she, she's bulky. Uh, but I'm only using a bigger size because, uh, for demonstration purposes, it'll be a little easier to see, I hope. So there is that. All right. So on to casting on. Are you ready? No. No. All yeah, right. Let's get happen. some hype from our studio audience. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Really supportive. All right. Cool. All right. So. There's multiple ways to cast on. We're gonna do my favorite method, which I feel like is a little bit uh, more seamless in the grand scheme of things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some yarn and we're just gonna measure it by our forearm. Do maybe two or three. Okay, is it okay if my forearm's longer than your forearm? Of course it is, because okay. I have a tiny forearm, so of course it's gonna be a different Got size. We're gonna take a little arms. bit more off of the, okay. the ball of yarn, so that way we have a some place to go. Good. Okay. So we're going to take one needle. Okay. And we're going to make a loop around our finger. All right. Like that. We're getting okay. there. We're getting there. Okay. okay. So with this, it might be easier to have a little bit of separation between the two. So we know the yarn, where it's coming from and the excess yarn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just like shove it off the table, you know? Okay, okay, great. We're good. So. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So we're going to put our needle where the where our finger was, and we're going to drape it over like a tent. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to lock that in with our right hand, so that way it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. So now, this is where it gets a little tricky. So we're going to put the yarn in kind of an L shape around our fingers. So we have where the yarn, the excess yarn, the end of our yarn, around our thumb, the outside of our thumb, and then where the yarn is coming from the ball, around in between our index finger and our middle finger, okay? Just like that. And we have our little tent in the middle. So like, like this? Close. See, you gotta twist it right there. Okay. Yeah, so. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Uh, put it on the outside of your index finger. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So now we're going to take our tent, take our tent, and we're going to go over, cross our thumb. We're going to go through it. Oops. Through. Like. And then around to the inside of our index finger. And then we're going to pull. I'm going to do it again. Don't yes, worry. Yes, please do. I'm not explaining it very well, so hopefully the second time will be a lot better. 
All right, so we got our tent. Okay. We're gonna pull it forward so it makes a V. This is a better explanation already. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I, I think All I right. see what we're doing. I don't know if you do. <laughs> Okay, oh, let's no. fix <laughs> let's fix the her fingers. <laughs> okay, do you see how it's draped over my index finger? Yes. Yes. Okay. I think I was flipping off the camera before, but <laughs> you here You know, we are. it's fine. I feel like doing that sometimes. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to take our needle, and we're going to go all the way to the outside of our thumb. Okay. And we're going to go in this loop. Okay. And then we're going to go over in between the two sides of our index, the the yarn in our index finger. Okay. We're gonna go through the left side of that, and we're gonna go through this other loop, and then we're gonna pull. Okay, great. Let's get a close up on this. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right. My baby hands so, <laughs> trying to knit. This is what it's supposed to look like. Right there, beautiful. We've got uh, our stitches. Is this it? Is that it? Um, you know, <laughs> we're gonna just say it is for uh, the sake of uh, something's on there. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. All right, so now we're gonna do a couple more to get some practice at it. With different projects require different uh, amount of stitches, so and you know, come different size of yarn requires more stitches than you know not. So. For this yarn, if we're making a scarf, I'd say maybe about 20 stitches we'd cast on. Cause uh, she'll be nice and chunky, you know, all that fun stuff. All right, so let's try this again. Okay. Okay, so we got our tent, we got yes. our tent. Tent. Okay, we got, okay, we're gonna start here. Okay, now we're gonna go, we're gonna go through the two. Yes, okay. yes, okay. And we're gonna swim through, and we're gonna, not all the way, not all the way. <laughs> We're swimming through with just our index finger and our thumb. Perfect, okay. okay, all right. Now we're gonna clamp down with our, yes, 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 okay, <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna use our spare fingers, our pinky and our ring finger, and we're gonna just kinda, and even our middle finger if we're feeling fancy. Okay, which we we're are. We're gonna hold down to the yarn, okay? Okay. We're gonna hold down on both sides, so that way we've closed the tent. Yes, okay. Okay. Like this. Like this. Like this. I'm like looking at the TV to see what you're doing, even though you're right here. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. So we've got our tent. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Now we're going to bring our needle forward. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Now we're going over to the left side of our thumb and we're going to go through the side. Yes, okay. And now we're gonna cross over to the middle of our index finger. And now we're gonna go through this part of the yarn right there. Okay, we're gonna go through there. Did you get that? Yes. Okay, and now we're gonna go through the loop that our thumb created, and we're gonna just pull. Like down through it? Yes, what? down through it, oh. down through it. Uh, I can't down reach, I can't, there's not a moke, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, wow. We, wow. wow. We did the thing. We All right. two whole stitches. Okay. Okay, Whew. that was stressful. All right, okay. So, when does the other needle come into play? Once we've casted on as many stitches as we need. So, okay. you have two, so this is this is gonna be time. So, so be we're gonna do, let's do now. 10 stitches. So you're gonna need eight more, which I can do for you to pretend like it's movie magic. Ooh. Easier to see. Nice, Ooh. beautiful, beautiful. So now we're gonna go through the knit stitch. Are you ready or I'm are you ready? So ready. It's happening whether you like it or not. Yeah, I don't have a okay. choice. All right, so here we go. So now we pick up our second needle. Now, with, with knitting, it's kind of like reading. We always go from the left to the right. I, I wish I knew the left and right, but uh, just gotta there do you the go. L and we're good. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna hold the stitches that we have on in our left hand. Oh, oh, oh. dang, <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> You're close, but not quite. So, this might make it a little tricky since we have so much extra yarn. So, we're gonna put the extra yarn off to the side. We're not gonna use that. Okay. You could, 
So that way it, it kind of weaves it through and creates kind of almost like a knot in a way. Uh, but that might be a little complicated to new knitters because it looks like two stitches then. So there's that. So we're gonna forget about it for right now. So we're gonna use the yarn that's coming from the ball and we're gonna take a right needle and we're gonna go up through our first stitch and behind our left needle, okay? Okay. Looks a little backwards from here, but I swear it's not. <laughs> Why is my face so big? <laughs> Good, here, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it around, there we go. Nope, there she is. All right, so we got our right needle behind our left needle. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take our, our uh, line of yarn. Okay. From the ball. Yes. Okay. And see how it's behind, it's behind. Yes. Okay. That's important to know because the purl stitch is different. So we have our string coming from behind and we're gonna take it, we're gonna wrap it around our back needle. Okay. Yep, right there. Well, so it's a little snug. There you go. So we're gonna take that I'm going to take our right needle and we're going to go down and through this loop that is very difficult to show. Okay? And go down through the loop that was on our left needle. And once you get it this, through. This loop? There's like four loops. So I just want to be sure. Okay. So a good way to check to make sure that you're doing it right is to just undo what you did. <laughs> Because then you can pull it through and because you haven't actually done anything, you know? <laughs> so you still have the safety guard of it being on your left needle. So, great. <laughs> Thanks, live studio audience. You guys are the best. Okay, so there we go. Thanks for laughing at my pain, guys. All right. This okay. is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But like, it's fine, it's fine. So, we're gonna do it again. Okay, so, love that. we're gonna take our right needle right and we're needle. gonna go through, through the, the first stitch. And behind. Our, yes, we're gonna go behind in the first stitch. We're gonna bring our yarn around town. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> just, just struggling a little. Okay. We're bringing it around town with our right needle. Okay. Around. <laughs> bringing it around town. Okay. Like yes. This? Yes. Okay. Like that. That looks like a hot mess. Not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get that. Okay. So we brought it around town. Now you see how we have this loop here that is created. It's a little difficult to show. And I have no idea what camera we're on, but it's fine. We're rolling with it. Okay, great. So, wait. It's created a little loop right there. Okay. So right here where I go. Sh what are you doing? I don't know. It's just it's going through the yarn. Not a. I don't know. I, oh God. Um. I. Um. Yeah. No. Okay, great. I don't, I feel like so, we're just. So, all right. Well. I feel like I want to just. We created a loop and we're going to just pull it through and we're going to take what's on our left needle off and we're going to pull it so it's a little snug. Uh, wait. I don't know. I think I tied it in knot. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I was We're a Girl Scout. I just had it to tie everything it's fine. and it's not. It's fine. I'm ready. Okay. Wow, Olivia, that was so great. Look at you. You're a natural knitter. All right. So. I'm so talented. We're going to finish the line of yarn. The line of yarn. We're going to finish the line of stitches that we did. So that way we can go off of, off to our next stitch, which will be just as fun as this one. Oh, don't you worry. So we're going to skip the pearl stitch for time purposes, uh, which, you know, is fine. We'll come back to it one day. We we'll put her. it on. Um, it's fine. We'll put it online somewhere. YouTube. YouTube. That's a stretch goal. That's only for a Patreon. Okay, so pearl. now we're going to move into our next uh, 
our next segment. We're going to talk a bit, and you're just uh, going to pretend like you're going to knit. Okay, I can sure act like I'm knitting and okay, just sort awesome. of go with, the, go with whatever this cuts through the hall. This is going really well. <laughs> I could talk to you guys. <laughs> Just laughing. This is great. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to die a bit, but it's fine. Okay. So. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Your support is. We're just really gonna my make heart. Well. Olivia, what's a what's your spirit animal? Let's talk. You know. My spirit animal, spirit animal is definitely a cat. No surprise. Same. Cat shirt. I feel that on an emotional level. I just don't like people, but crave attention. And you know, I as just, you do, you know, need to be alone sometimes. But also, really enjoy tuna fish. Also, like it's my favorite. Interesting. Animal. Interesting. So, I really relate. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oh, I feel like I'm pretty much satisfied with my creation. It resembles a dead rat. Okay, but great. But I'm still really proud of it, so I think I'm just going to like let Leave it go. Going to just take my uh, the needles that I've provided you and just like take them? Yeah. Going to take them, I'm just gonna frame it? I'm just going to steal these needles. Oh. Okay, there goes the one. Okay. And there goes the other. Well, okay. uh, speaking of creations, well, what uh, what else are you working on? What else have you worked on? I am better at some things than this particular task. Okay, cool. I am currently cool, cool. working on a series of um, paintings of my... <laughs> Of my plants, like my plants that I care for. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, so I'm painting my plants. I also enjoy painting cats and portraits of people. Nice. And random stuff like that. So would you say that uh, that your your primary form of art would be through painting. Yes, I nice. think that's fair to say. Although I really, this might be my calling. I'm not sure. Knitting? I th I think you might have a. I could like make cat toys. I really yeah. feel like a cat would be into this. Oh, nothing definitely. else, but maybe a cat. That's about. I mean, there's a market for it. There's a market for everything. I feel like. <laughs> um, take that as you will. So, that's cool. So, what other stuff uh, do you do, or have you like dipped your toe in? Um, I have tried, oh gosh, um, okay, we're just, okay, <laughs> all right. I have done watercolor, I like to do oil paint, I enjoy doing Cat's Cradle, really, oh, yeah, it kind of works a little bit, and then you go, uh, how do you do, you need, can you do it for me? You take the little things and you go around and I transfer it to you. What? You, now see, I'm teaching you something. So look at the camera. So you grab the two X's in the middle. Okay, well, I only see one. Oh, that's because it's not a loop. <laughs> <laughs> so I've already, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just nix that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just a really multi-talented artist. <laughs> All right. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. So. Thanks, guys. Fun. With your art, with your with your paintings, what do you hope that you'll do with them? Is it just more of a hobby, or do you want to? Are you anticipating to do something bigger with them? Um, I'm really interested in medical illustration and Ooh. science art. So, um, yeah, I'd That's like really to fancy. Sort of incorporate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd love to somehow incorporate them together, but you know, gotta make that money. So if I end up doing something sciencey, I'll still mm. be doing my nice. my calf paintings cool, and such. Cool. Well. So. Cool. All right. Well, we're gonna soon wrap things up. We're gonna look at our progress. Um, yeah, okay. Well, uh, this is how much I've gotten done. I did a row of pearl stitch uh, for fun, you know, as you can see against my nice. white hand. 
It's perfect to white balance off yeah. of. It's just and like, uh, it's just my scarf, and it's really just sort of a little appendage right here. Yeah, you know, but a, uh, a it little tumorous lump. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it'll keep you warm uh, during the winter. Yeah. Nice All right. And toasty. Cool. Well, there is that. Can you mix stitches like Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why this scarf that we uh, this cool scarf thing. is called the Irish Moss stitch Ooh, and basically cool. the first Okay, I'm right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, uh, this is like a particular pattern. So, the first two rows are knit one purl one and then the next two rows are pearl, pearl one knit one and it creates this really gorgeous A -B -A -B. Yeah, it creates this really yeah, gorgeous it's stitch. Like and uh <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rhyme scheme. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of different ones. I have them all written down in a notebook, that wow. sort of thing. I mean, there's only two in knitting. So, yeah, where crocheting is a lot more complicated, that'll be the next project of mine. But before we go, we're going to talk about our tea of the week. Slash, I almost forgot about my favorite segment on the show. Yes, Thank there you go. You. All right. So... It Thank is uh, piping you. hot from me putting it in the microwave oh. for one minute, 30 minutes Lovely. ago. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Are you satisfied? Oh, she's satisfied. She's satisfied. She, they're satisfied. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. So this week, we've got some peach tea. <laughs> I want to go home now. <laughs> I, I just wanted to dye my yarn a little bit. And I thought the, the darkening of the shade would uh, really add to the art. But uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so that was the nitty gritty. Um, a little bit of yarn in there, but uh, we may or may not be back next week. So this is Olivia, and uh, I'm Sydney. <laughs> All right, good night, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>